So pistols, the co most common question there is on the internet, especially for uh, that I get a lot and I know others do too, is what pistol versus what pistol? We have three here on hand um, to go over, not even a review or anything, just like what should you get and what shouldn't you? First, let me start off by saying it doesn't matter as long as you know your gun and can trust your gun. Because for example, this was actually the first pistol I ever bought. Not the first one I owned, but one I ever bought. And I bought it because I always wanted a 1911, so I'm gonna get the coolest looking one I could. And for a while, it's what I had, so it's what I had to carry. But through shooting it and training with it, I realized that it has some drawbacks. Obviously, um, it's not uncommon to know that, hey, your standard 1911 single stack doesn't carry enough rounds. So, I got extended mags. All right, now, these Chip McCormick 10, power, 10, ah, 10 round mags, not 10 power, are, they're cool. They definitely look super awesome when they're in the gun, but they have a problem with no tilt. I think I just swallowed a bug. So, what, that, what happens is the rounds, especially hollow point, especially hollow point. Um, they get caught in here. They literally get jammed when they're trying to feed into the chamber. And I've actually had a bat so, or I've had it happen so bad, excuse me, that I had to take the gun apart while the round was jammed in there because I could not get it out. That's no bueno. Um, and that sucks because I love 1911s. Um, the ergonomics of them are a lot better. I love how the sights line up and that really sucks because now I carry Glock, which I use for a, year, a couple of years instructing, and still I have had no stoppages or malfunctions with this, and I have quite a lot of rounds through my Glock 19. Um, but still, I'm not necessarily a Glock person or a SIG person or a Colt person. This is Zach, he's our, film, our video guy. This is his pistol, he loves SIGs. Now this is a great gun. It has a 1911 style grip angle, unlike the Glock. But the thing I don't like about it is it's hide over bore is huge. For some people that's gonna matter. For me, I don't like it. I like them to be a little more in line, but this is still a great shooting gun. I shoot his all the time. <clears throat> what gun versus what gun, it does not matter unless you're out shooting with it. Now, when you do that, you're going to learn what you like and what you don't like and how reliable your gun is. Even if you just take, for example, what we did several times is we loaded all my 10 round mags with two rounds, boom, boom, reload, boom, boom, reload, boom, boom, um, doing different drills to see what works, what doesn't. One thing that is kind of difficult for like, I have small hands is hitting this slide lock slide release, <clears throat> doing my reloads or sign to slide forward, I don't always hit, it's not consistent for me. It is when I'm shooting a Glock or a SIG or other, other guns. So for this, I revert to gross motor skills and when it's locked back, insert magazine, I immediately come up here, boom, and get back on target. That does add a 0 0.2, 0 0.3 to your, uh, to your times, simply because it's more movement. But you have to know that and you have to train with it. Uh, I do think these are excellent. They're a lot of fun but it only really matters if you know what you're doing with it. I can take any one of these guns and I can shoot them efficiently and effectively. <clears throat> I can figure out their triggers real fast. Um, I can hit accurately with them, but it all matters about the shooter, not, not the firearm. Um, obviously you wanna be smart and wise in your choice. There are other 1911s that are a lot higher quality that don't have the same problems. Um, there are other Glocks that when you start introducing a lot of aftermarket parts, they start having a lot of problems. Um, and it's the same thing with any other guns. We all know SIG has some uh, trigger issues at times, but you know, they work them out. And then thinking about lights too, like TLR1 or TLR7, I like the seven cause it's smaller. I wish I had the, uh, whatever they're called, the other switches. Um, but these are very effective and they're still both bright for concealment. Excuse me. I shoot a lot of uh, Surefire X300 UBs, um, which are great. Like they fit excellent on here, but for something like this, for concealment, are terrible. So what I want to really put out there is like, as much as we all say it, it only matters if you're training. 
it only matters if you're banging keep your areas clean i'm going to say that from now often from now on excuse me and take your guns out run them through drills do a lot of reloads not because they're cool um, but because they're applicable and they're needed and it'll help you figure out your gun all right get out and bang Yep. <laughs> Fucking pigeons. Goat Guns. They are the sponsor of this video, so big shout out to them. Make sure you go check them out. Goat, greatest of all time. They make, well, they straight up say it, toy guns, one third to scale. Um, I had a Dragunov, but it was confiscated by TSA because it's too realistic, apparently. This one, they were nice enough to send out to me to replace that one. Um, I got to pick it, a little M4 Commando with an EOTech and Magpul forward grip and Magpul PMAG with three rounds. And it's actually really cool. I mean, fully adjustable and everything. Again, big shout out to them, sponsor for the uh, channel. Follow the link down below and check them out. Go guys.